So uh, Adolf Kleinlogel developed a series of uh, books, this one in particular, looking at beam analysis and frame analysis, and he compiled charts for different types of frames. And this is how we did frame analysis before computers came along. Basically, you would look up what time of frame you had and what type of loading and the little formulas at the bottom would allow you to derive the moments, the reactions and the shears and so forth. And because you were going to do elastic analysis, you could uh, put them together with the principle of superposition to get your full set of bending moments and shear forces for your particular frame. So here's uh, one way of putting it into MathCAD. So here's the MathCAD file for some basic frame analysis. And these are the formulas that we get from the klein logal tables. So you put in the basic information and length of the frame and the height of the frame and the second moment of areas of the rafters and the columns, for example. Notice we haven't got an E value in here because it's assumed that the E value is constant uh, as well. So you derive the coefficients from the klein logal tables and from that, depending on what kind of loading you've got and what kind of base support you've got, you can pop out the support moments in accordance with the formulas given. So it's a relatively quick way of analysing a frame um, and you can do it for uh, different loading patterns and you can also do it for different base uh, arrangements. So if you've got pin bases, the, the bending moment diagrams are slightly different. Obviously no moment at the base and your formulas pop out the answers for the uh, bending moment and shear forces and reactions as well. So that was a nice, quick and easy look at how you derive the basic moments in a portal frame.